Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 24th of 2025 is titled APEP, Unusual Dust Shells from Webb. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an object known as APEP, and that is a unusual object in that it is made up of a couple of very hot stars orbiting, and as they orbit, shells of material are being expelled. Now, these are two very hot stars known as wolf Rayet stars, and these are some of the most, some of the hottest and largest and most massive stars that exist. And two of them here that formed and are orbiting each other with a period of about 200 years. Now, every time they pass close to one another, a new shell of dust and gas is expelled outwards. We can kind of trace this backward, seeing multiple orbits as this has occurred. So we have an outer orbit there in the red, then one in the orange, and then one in the lighter yellowish color in the very center. So this is likely caused by these two stars orbiting and possibly actually a third star that is involved as well. Now, this has been imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope, which looks at this in detail in the infrared portion of the spectrum. Infrared light is very good for observing things like dust because that's what dust emits. Its warm dust will emit infrared light. And in addition, infrared light is able to penetrate dust and allow us to see through the regions and let us see various regions that would otherwise be invisible. Now, what will continue to happen here? Well, this will continue. This process will continue for thousands, probably for hundreds of thousands of years, sending out shell after shell of material. It will finally end when one of these stars ends up becoming unstable and becomes a supernova. Now, when that will happen is a good question, and we can't really predict. That involves seeing deep into the core of the star, something we simply cannot do. However, being able to study it and watch that process, at least seeing a picture of that process and the patterns that form as these stars whir whirl around one another in their orbits, really helps us to better understand the types of stars that will eventually become a supernova. So while we may not be around when the supernova actually occurs, say in a couple hundred thousand years, we can study the process that leads up to it and see the various material that these stars are expelling as they come closer and closer to that end stage of their lives. So that was our picture of the day for November 24th of 2025. It was titled APEP, Unusual Dust Shells from Webb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Passing Comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.